Hello, and welcome to this short, how-to video from Blue Prism University. During this video, you will see how to perform manual verification in Decipher IDP. You will see how to load a batch of documents that have been pushed to Decipher IDP by a Blue Prism process, identify the three sections of the data validation screen, and how you use each to validate data map fields and correct data errors to train the rules-based machine learning for the next time a similar layout is detected. Typically, a business user will manually verify data extracted by Decipher IDP to ensure that the results meet the required standards. The business user will then approve the extraction if it is accurate or annotate it as a correction if it is not accurate and check whether the DFD configurations made earlier need any changes to improve accuracy. The data verification page allows you to load a batch of documents previously sent from a Blue Prism process. In this demonstration, I will load a batch from the home page. This brings you to the data verification page. The data verification page is divided into three sections. On the left is a visual listing of the document images contained in this batch. These should be the same images that were added in the Blue Prism process. Documents with a green check have passed verification. Documents with a red circle indicate manual verification is needed. The middle pane will show a form of fields associated with the invoice document type. This type was pre-configured by Blue Prism along with any data that Decipher was able to extract from the invoice. The panel on the right is an expanded image of the invoice with boxes around different items, indicating Decipher has recognized this item as part of the document layout. Now we will select an invoice image with the red circle. As you select a data item in the middle panel, the corresponding item in the document image will be highlighted. Place your mouse over the region, hover, to see a pop-up of what the OCR is seeing. Selecting the Purchase Order Number field should change to green in the middle pane and then highlight the PO number on the document image to in the right panel. You can now teach Decipher by selecting the correct field in the right panel. Right-click a region and you have options to remove the region selected, Remove all regions or refresh the data in the region. Selecting Refresh will clear the OCR cache for this region and reevaluate the image area. Once you're able to see the correct value in your region is set and the form field, middle panel, should fill in with the correct data. We are going to remove this region and create a smaller one encompassing the numbers only. Next, we notice the Supplier Number field includes the word Supplier. You can adjust the box around the element until it is recognized. Let's do the same with the Telephone field. In the upper left corner of the region panel, you can increase or decrease the magnification of the document. Increasing the magnification can often make working with regions easier to navigate. The net value field isn't recognizing the decimal. Let's resize the element until it recognizes the decimal. The same situation applies to the unit price field.
As you can see, our first invoice in the batch now has a green check indicating it does not need further validation. Watch as we validate the data in the second invoice in the batch. Let's submit this batch with existing errors. When you click Submit during data verification, the Validation Errors dialog displays if there are any outstanding validation errors for the current batch. To address a validation issue, click a link in the field column to open the document with that field in focus, then map the correct text to the DFD. Alternatively, you can click Accept All Soft Validation Warnings to continue to submit the batch without resolving the validation warnings. Once submitted, this adjustment will be added to the machine learning model for the next time a similar layout is detected. You have just learned how to perform data validation in Decipher IDP, including loading a batch of documents into Decipher IDP, manually verifying data extracted from documents, resolving errors when submitting a batch. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about any other Blue Prism product, please visit the Blue Prism University via the link in the description below. You can also visit the Blue Prism University community to get support from other members and participate in various discussions via the link in the description below.